So we made it back to the car this morning and it was freezing last night. It dropped down to minus one or minus two, so it says on the phone. And uh, yeah, we've seen quite a lot of frost this morning. Just picking up half a bottle of uh, river water, just in case we want any cup of teas. This is our last day. We've got to travel back later on today. But first, we've just got to go up this road to another car park so we can start our trek hike up to Helvellyn and Striding Edge. Hey! Good hey. morning guys! Hello again! Hey up! Hey up me ducks! <laughs> so we've just gone north of Patterdale uh, near Ulswater uh -huh. and uh, we're actually at Glen Ridding Glen where Ridding. we parked the car yes. and it's next to an information centre. Oh to note that car park is you pay after, after you come, you come back. There's so many confused people just standing there going, what the, what the hell do I do? Where do I put my money? We've just seen some signs and stuff like that. In December 2015, uh, Glen Ridding and Latterdale uh, got hit by Storm Desmond pretty hard. And a lot of the main roads got washed away and houses need rebuilding and a lot of floods happened around here. And they're actually still just rebuilding a little bit over there. Um, but yeah, they seem to be getting over it, but I didn't realise the storm affected this area quite, quite bad. So we're just on the track now to go up to Helvellyn. We're going from Glen Ridding. It should take us three to three and a half hours there. Hopefully sure to come in back because it's downhill. So let's go! Like I was mentioning before guys, how quiet it is out here, it's incredible. But how much uh, wildlife you hear? Um, just walking up here, in all this undergrowth, I don't think it can pick up on the camera, but there's uh, all sorts of mice, voles, field mice mainly, uh, squeaking away and rushing through the undergrowth. Even at night, we're hearing owls, barn owls. So loud. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> like, they twit too, and then all of a sudden there's like a screech and I don't know if that's the actual owl or if that's the actual field mice or vole getting taken by the owl. And there's Glen, Glen Ridden down there, next to Owl's Water. And it's just so beautiful out here. We've chosen a track that there's no one else taken. Everyone taking the direct route straight up the mountain. And we're like, no, we did that yesterday. We're not doing that today. So we're taking a more relaxed climb yeah. round here and then we will have our steep bit round the side but it shouldn't be as steep. But we can take the steep bit back down because we can just fall down. So we're just walking round and here's an old disused mine. Still got some of the old buildings there that they've converted. It looks like they've converted them into houses and a cafe. There's always a cafe. Oh, we're living the life of luxury. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need bottled water. We've got... That's one. <laughs> yeah. Or even though we've got one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we only bought one, so we don't want to use it up. When we get up to the top of Helvellyn, there's no uh, rivers. No. So we're just making our water in the bottle last a little bit longer. And then uh, we can drink that at the top of the mountain. Hopefully it will last though. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> But at the minute, we're just uh, having fresh water out the, out the mountain rivers. Hopefully no one weird on top of the mountain. Are you living the adventure? Boom! And live the adventure. Boom! Got the beautiful blue skies today, guys.
This river comes all the way from Red Town. Now it's in her belly. <laughs> Jack, you look like a turtle with that backpack. Look like a turtle? Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Yeah. You're no longer teenage anymore, what are you Well, we've made it. We can now see Striding Edge and Helvellyn in sight. Hi. This is a much easier route, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Better. Much better. Greenside uh, Trail. Yeah. Yeah, that's the easiest trail. Or else you've just got to climb up and over, up and over this mountain over here. And it's not needed. You can just walk around it and then have a little easier trek up here. There's Whirl Ledge. And then that takes you all around. There's Helvellyn. This is the other side of Helvellyn from what we've seen um, the other day. Thirlmere Lake is just on the other side of that and uh, we camped the other side of Thirlmere Lake at Harrop Tarn. Yeah. So Red Tarn is just over this ridge and there's Striding Edge where all the people are on it. God, it's a busy day. We've got the most perfect sun, sunny day and uh, not that much wind as well. It's great. Great to do this. I'm glad we, we rearranged our calendar. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Red Tarn is the highest lake in the Lake District with fish in it. And you can actually fish it. Yeah. Freshwater fish that is, but they're only tiny. We're gonna bring out the lines in a way. No, we forgot our fishing lines or else we would have had a go. <laughs> but there's certainly fish in there because there's a group of seagulls going around. Yeah. And they live up on, on the uh, cliff side of Helvellyn. But we're gonna take that route. We're gonna go up Swirl Edge and do a lap. Go up there, do that hard trek up there. Don't, don't whack me. Sorry, or it's gonna fall off the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Top of Helvellyn, get a nice viewpoint, and then do stride and edge, and then go back, back down there. That's oh, the plan. Now. Yep. Oh, if you're wondering how we survive, <laughs> <laughs> if you're quite a while, sausage cigars. <laughs> Yeah, we've been surviving on sausages from the Oriental Market. You say you grew up on these, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, China. From They're China. really nice. Like, uh, the one I love is uh, got sweet corn in it. And uh, it's really sweet. <laughs> nice sausages. But the best thing ever is that they actually... Shit. They last. You don't need to refrigerate them. Same with the chorizo. It's always bigger than I think it is. That's annoying. Thing. <laughs> That's really annoying. If it's bigger than I thought, I'd get more time for it, isn't it? Yeah. I'm hungry. It's fine, we've got another Snickers in the bag. So we just met another YouTuber down at Red Tarn. Just landed my drone and uh, came over and said, hello, go and check out his channel. He's called uh, Mr. Cool Jedi. No spaces. What's up? Got 3G. Got service here. Yay. Hey. Seems to be quite popular today. This is Swirl Edge. It's climbing up to Helvellyn. I think there's actually snow on the top. That little bit of white on the top, that's snow. Is it? Yeah. That's how high we are. I think this is 900. 950, 960. Got halfway up Swirl Edge and it turned into sort of a a hard passy steep place and uh, actually Lily uh, did not like it at all. Frightened for her life, bless her. Um, so what I've told her is to go down there and meet me at the bottom of Red Tarn. So I'm going to do the lap. This is what this hard bit looks like. And it is like proper climbing over rocks. It's pretty cool. Really, really cool. You just have to take your time with it. But yeah, she was just frightened of her. Uh, she had the urge of jumping off and I, I just can't understand it. Comment down below if this affects you as well because uh, it must be a thing. Lily, you uh, have done so amazing this whole trip. To, to get halfway up that, was that, uh, that fear. Not fear of heights, but fear of like jumping off. Like you've done amazing. Me going further, I can see that it was right for you to turn back and I'm glad not to put you through that. But this is uh, what it looks like. It's pretty hard going on some bits and then it gets easy. So let's get to the top.
I've made it. It's not actually that hard. It's just that little bit rocky bit there. The last bit is really steep. And uh, to find your footing, especially, uh, I wouldn't recommend that when it's wet. Uh, there's a bit of a wet bit and you're super slippy on your boots. Especially walking boots, They're terrible on wet surfaces. But uh, yeah, this is the top of Helvellyn. There's Red Tarn. And look at this. It's actually so cold up here. It's actually not that cold, it doesn't feel cold, but it just must be the attitude. And there's actually snow. Oh, it's proper snow. Wicked. So that's Hellwell and Red Tarn. Yeah. Check it over here. Let's see if we can find our camp spot from here. Shit, well. Harrop Tarn. Just out of the, uh, the forest. That's Harrop Tarn there. We camped just west of the lake. Oh, that's beautiful up here. There's Harrop Tarn. Dobgill. Trek forest. Just behind there is Bleetarn. That seemed like a long way when we did it. But guys, please bear in mind that we had our full packs of everything we, we carried. You know how the max weight of your pack is meant to be 10 to 20% of your body weight? Well, actually me and Lily went over that a lot. Like, Lily's really light. She's like 50 something kilograms, really light. And uh, she took 12 kilograms. Or 11, 11, 11 kilograms, because I took a bit off her. And then this pack, even though it looks light and small, it packs down really well. This was 17, this was 17 kilograms. And uh, we felt it going up, but coming down, it was a doddle. So yeah, we broke that little rule. My review of overloading your pack is, just have a good bag, <laughs> so it doesn't cut into you. But uh, I thought it was all right like overloading it and carrying it like that but it was hard going uphill um just how it is we had to keep taking breaks and stuff i'll probably uh try and pack down my stuff so it gets to 10 percent of my body weight uh because i'm what am i 70 i think i'm 68 to 70 depends if i've uh, had a christmas dinner or not lily's gonna meet me there, where that trail is, and when I meet up, and I've gone over here, meet up, and we'll go down and have some lovely pub dinner. If there's a steak on offer, I'll take that, or salmon, or fish, or anything good, hearty meals and proper. Actually, that's one good thing that you get up north. The more north you go, or the more, say, further you go away from the capital, the meals get bigger, which is great. It's super important when you think you're gonna go up or go down to just re-tighten your laces because they actually go loose after a load of time. Shit. Shit, that's not how I do it. That surgeon knot there, that is like a lifesaver, that's great that is. That actually keeps all of that tight and a nice tight and secure so you won't be uh, twisting your ankle down these sheer faces. And there is the yee striding edge. It looks like I've got to scale this. Let's do it. Well, I can now say that I'm uh, striding, striding edge. This is a really hard bit. Basically both sides from the top of Helvellyn going down each side, it's quite hard. But if you just like, climb it, hang on to rocks, use all four limbs, it's it's pretty easy. Uh, just take time now, because uh, one false move, you're off the edge. I've been seeing loads of dogs up here guys, like loads of dogs just going with their owners and everything, but funnily enough, it actually uh, dawned on me that quite a lot of them are small. Those little legs aren't going to get up some of these steps, and I wondered how they did it, but now I know, I've seen a guy literally pick up his dog like a lioness picking up her cubs and just 
dragging it up the mountain. <laughs> the dog was pretty happy to be honest, with a worried look on its face, but just chilling, just like, yeah, just take him to the top. That's how it's done. Where I would prefer just to stick him in the backpack <laughs> with the little tabs hanging out the end. So better get a wiggle on or else Lily will be thinking I've fallen off. Hey guys, I just had to stop again just to show you this. This is part of the walk, this is part of the climb, this is the only passable place. Uh, round the other side it's just sheer cliff face and boulders. I'm going up this. I'm halfway down Strider Edge, more or less. But it's stuff like this, which is super cool. You have to proper like, rock climb up. Like a steep staircase really. So there's Red Tan. Red Tan! Oh no. Best day to do this. Best day ever. Super chill. Oh my god, there's a sheep down there. Me! Wow, sheeps go this high. Mountain sheeps, mountain goats. Better than all of us at climbing. It is a shame. A little longer than a few minutes later. There she is. I've made it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm starving. Did you miss me? Yes. Yes. Did you miss me? Yes. Did you miss me? Yes. Did you miss me? Uh, yeah, yes. Now let's go and have some food. I'm starving. Oh, Rob. We're starving. both starving. <gasps> We've got our sneakers left. <gasps> Another one. So we've just trekked down from Stride and Edge. <laughs> have a little break. And this is hole in the wall. So, this is hole in the wall where all of this dry stone wall, look how go far it goes. And uh, it goes for miles, basically. And this is the only hole. And this was for people to go up to Stride and Edge. Now there's two treks from here, going down. We can either go through hole in the wall, down here, but that takes us right round and uh, we'll have to get to the car park that way. Or we can go right over the mountain and down and that marries up with the first trail we we followed which is in that valley where that mine is and uh, we'll find the car down there at all's water all's water i think it is so many waters we're just halfway down now and uh, we think we're gonna roll into a pub soon because we are starving now we've took loads of snacks with us but we've just been piggies we just like yeah. ate them all mm -hmm. and then we're gonna get on the road and go home because that's yes. the end of our trip Mm -hmm. Really, really sad. But we'll definitely have to come again. Yep. For fish. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> when we get better at fishing, we'll come again. <laughs> yeah, we made it back to the car, finally. <laughs> Didn't take us as long as thought. Took us half the time it takes getting up. Yeah. Seems like to be the, the thing. Oh, it's always half the time. Yeah. Going down. So anyway, we've got to pay for this car park. You know, the one that you have to pay later. And for all day at Glen Ridding, it's four pound. A lot better than parking at Swirls car park on Third Mill Lake or at the church because they, I know they charge for seven pound and up. Like it was a lot if the machines are working, but they're, they're free at the moment. But it's just that we wanted to go from this side because we were over this side. And it was really ideal trek, really nice. That's a good way to do it. Pay when you leave, because this morning everyone arrived at the same time. There's going to be a queue, but when we leave, everyone leaves at a different time. Good idea. So just made it back to the King's Head, um, where we had another three-course meal, and we had salmon steaks. Oh, so nice! Stick it off pudding. Oh, and soup of the day to start with. Just what we needed. We were starving. We were starving. No, we're not. <laughs> Super tired now though guys. We've got a three and a half hour drive back to Nottingham. Uh, I'm going to get on the road in a minute. So, but I hope you've really enjoyed the series because mm -hmm. we've really enjoyed doing it for you. Like, if you like this sort of content, comment down below. 
Uh, have you done Helvellyn or Striding Edge? Which side would you go? And what time of year do you go? Also, uh, there's a bell icon to click for notifications if you like my channel. Subscribe if you like. And yeah, tune in the next time to an expedition. Bye guys. The further you go away from the capital, the meals get bigger, which is great. I bet someone's like pulling faces in the background, aren't they? <laughs>